All right, guys and girls, we are back on the Always Moto podcast and we are on the YouTube channel at the same time. So if you aren't watching, you should be. And if you aren't listening, you should be. So find us on either platforms on your favorite podcast player or on our YouTube channel. Make sure you follow and subscribe on each of those platforms. But we are ready to jump into the emergency department, give you the updates from those injuries that happened at Bud's Creek and looking ahead to this weekend's race at Ironman. So let's get into it. The emergency department, all the injuries, all the gory details, and when they'll be back on track. It's the list you really don't want to be on. You do not want to be on the list. We tell you this every week and it doesn't change. It's always a painful list to be a part of, unfortunately. Now let's get straight into these. There's only a short couple of things to go through this week. And, of course, the main one that we're going to talk about was the red flag that happened in the 250 Moto 1 that, uh, as everyone saw, stuffed up the race for Hayden Deegan, unfortunately. But when rider safety is the issue, the red flag is necessary. Uh, Obviously, they're talking about different things with the start, uh, restart of that race that will change, but we're here to talk about the injury. So let's see who it was. And, unfortunately, it was Hardy Munoz uh, on that 99 um, HBI racing bike. Uh, he took a nasty fall into the face of a jump, managed to get land you know, face first into the jump, uh, managed to knock himself out, break his nose, and surprisingly, that is all. Now, interestingly enough, I heard on the Vital Post Race Approaches Conference um, some interesting information that as to reason as to why the race ended up being red flagged there. It's actually a, a Maryland state law that if anyone loses consciousness during a sporting event that they have to call a helicopter. Uh, so that was some really good information there from uh, Michael Lindsay there on Vital, um, something that you probably wouldn't have heard you know, heard otherwise. So well done on that for Michael. Um, but it's an interesting uh, law that they've got in place there and probably something that maybe is a little bit over the top in terms of getting a helicopter. Maybe they need to get like an ambulance ride to be checked at a, at a hospital. Um, but in terms of doing something about head, inju- head injuries, the government in that area has done something. So well done to them. But yeah, so Hardy has put out an update. He's okay, uh, but he'll be recovering. He won't be on the list this weekend for Ironman, so he is out. He'll be on that concussion protocol. If all goes well, and I'm not sure exactly where he's at with SMX points, uh, but he might be able to be back for those because there is a weekend off after this weekend before the SMX starts uh, in two weeks' time. So have to keep an eye on that, and we'll update you that on our future shows. All right, another one, uh, another injury, but actually coming back this week at Ironman. Now, it's not actually an injury as such, but it's a an issue that he's had some medical treatment for. Jerry Robin, the privateer, uh, had a couple of weeks there where he's had some issue with his elbow, and he actually had an infection in his elbow that he had to get drained and then had to have a course of antibiotics, and has meant he's been off the bike for a couple of weeks. Now, he's only back on for a few days of riding in recent times, and he's going to turn up at Ironman and give it a go, which is awesome. Don't expect him to be fully fit. Don't expect him to be making it through these whole mains, uh, the whole motos at a steady pace. He'd probably drop off here, but... Good to see that he's making his way back. Probably trying to get some seat time in for those uh, super motocross rounds as well. Not, again, not sure of his point situation, but at least he's making a comeback, uh, trying to get that final round in for the outdoor series there. Um, just, yeah, odd situation for Jerry. Not sure how he actually got that infection, but he did get one, um, whether it was some sort of penetrating object, you know, whether it was from at the race, whether it was something he did at home. Not exactly sure. I haven't been able to touch base with Jerry on that one, but... Interesting situation all around, but at least the infection is cleared up and he's good to go. Um, and catching up on one other injury that we found out about just this week, uh, it's actually from Unadilla, so the round before. Uh, Trevor Smith, privateer, managed to stick his foot down in a rut, twist his leg, managed to get a lower leg fracture. So he's also been out uh, last week at Buzz Creek and he's out again for this week at Un- at, at uh, Ironman. So not, a, not the way he wanted to end the season, but that's how it goes sometimes, unfortunately. So... Another injury there to add to our list. Then we'll do a further update. So something to look out for you guys and girls out there with our YouTube channel, with the podcast next episode. We will do a summary of the motocross injuries, uh, get all the numbers, how many there was, break it down in terms of you know concussions, fractures, all those sorts of things that we do here on the Always Moto podcast uh, and give you that inside information about the injuries in our sport. So keep an eye out for that. That will be coming out probably next week or the week after. So keep your watch um, set will it'll be you know, releasing here soon all right that's the injury updates for the emergency department this week with the always moto podcast and youtube 
If you are watching on the YouTube, you need to switch over to the podcast right now because this is the end of the YouTube episode. If you're on the podcast, we'll take a quick break and we'll be back with more podcasts.